Ouch! PSG fans had no mercy for Neymar. Messi and himself were on the end of a barrage of insults following their Champions League humiliation at the hands of Real Madrid. But the two can take comfort from the fact that they're not the only players to have been insulted by their own fans. Some players have even lost it following the abuse. Here are eight players that have been insulted by their own fans. Messi and Neymar We bet the two former Barca stars didn't expect this as the two were reunited once again at PSG. Their impact has made noises at the Parc de Princes, but not for the right reasons. The club's elimination from the Champions League at the hands of Real Madrid has infuriated PSG supporters. The, Master club! the club's directors have taken their share of the flack, but the two aforementioned stars have borne the brunt of fans' frustrations. Who'd have thought that just a few months after his arrival that Messi would be the subject of boos and whistles at the Parc de Princes? Neymar, however, is used to it by now. Antoine Griezmann In contrast to PSG supporters, the No Camp faithful adore Lionel Messi. They're not so fond of Antoine Griezmann, however. The Frenchman was the victim of abuse from a Barca supporter at the club's training ground. And by August 2021, the entire Camp No crowd followed suit. As he was replaced in the 84th minute of their game against Hetafe, a cacophony of boos and insults rang out. Unfortunately for Grisou, he's never seemed to have gotten over his catastrophic stint at Barca. Gianluigi Donnarumma Nope, it's not PSG fans that abused the keeper following his error against Real. Instead, it was the AC Milan fans that took umbrage to Gigio's behavior. Nicknamed Dalaruma, the young keeper was subject to a prolonged period of abuse from the Rossoneri faithful once word had gotten out that he was refusing to extend his contract at the club. Want an example of what was said? Donnarumma, ungrateful b you disgust us more than Leonardo. Donnarumma, we never forget traitors. Be careful when you walk around Milan. Dusan Vahovic It's been quite the roller coaster ride for Vahovic at Fiorentina. The young Serb went from hero to zero in just a few short days. As soon as his name was linked to a possible departure to Juventus, he faced a barrage of insults from La Viola supporters. He was called a gypsy and even sent death threats. Come on, guys, it's only a game. El Said Husay. It's unfortunately common knowledge that there's a faction of extreme right supporters of Lazio, and El Said Husay found out the hard way. The Albanian sung Bella Ciao for his traditional initiation song. But this anti-fascist anthem angered a section of Lazio supporters. A banner reading, Husai Parasite, Lazio is Fascist, was subsequently strung out on a Rome bridge. But fortunately, the majority of Lazio supporters jumped to their new signing's defense. A hashtag of I'm with Husai was even created in support of the defender. Eric Dyer Sometimes fans go too far. That was the case when Marcus Rashford, Bukayo Saka, and Jadon Sancho were the victims of abhorrent racial abuse following their missed penalties in the final of Euro 2020. And sometimes, players can't help but react. As Tottenham's elimination from the FA Cup was sealed last season, Spurs fans were quick to jump on the backs of their players. Eric Dyer was a notable target of insults, as was his brother. Understandably, this enraged the Spurs star, and he even went into the stands to confront his brother's abuser. Fortunately, the situation was quickly diffused, but it just goes to show that players are human just like the rest of us, just with a bigger pay packet. On to our final player now, Granit Chaka. In October 2018, Granit Chaka trudged off the pitch to a soundtrack of boos from his own supporters. Unai Emery decided to replace the Swiss star following an abject display. Frustrated, the player would throw the captain's armband in the direction of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and these boos would increase in noise to the extent Chaka cracked. He responded to the fans by putting his hand to his ear, which only served to exasperate their boos and insults. Despite numerous attempts to offload the player, the relationship between the midfielder and the club supporters remains tense. We'd like to finish this video by reminding all football fans that even though players can leave us disappointed, they're humans just like us, and none of them deserve to be insulted like many of them have been. That's it for our video on players that have been insulted by their own fans. Don't forget to check out our video on players hated by their own club supporters. We'll see you soon for a new video.